Today we're talking about Instagram. pleasure of spending an hour with Doug and Liz Benz, the founders of New Buffalo Insurance, a startup insurance agency in downtown Buffalo. And I've been a big believer in Instagram for a while, but I gotta tell you, after spending an hour with them and dissecting their Instagram account, today I'm gonna teach you what I learned from Doug and Liz about Instagram so that you can do Instagram better. <laughs> Here are three reasons why you need to be on Instagram. One, it's real life. The pictures, everything, it's taken right out of your everyday life. You don't have to worry about you know, formatting a campaign and doing tons of writing and copywriting and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just taken out of what's going on in your life. It's a, it's a quick snapshot. It's a, it's a photo of somebody you're with. It's a quick tag at a business you're at. It's just injecting people into your everyday life. It's super easy and it doesn't take you away from doing everything else that you need to do to operate, run, and sell inside an independent insurance agency. Two, Instagram humanizes your business and it humanizes you. People want to do business with people they like. That's always been true and it's just as true today. If anything, it's more true today with social media. And if you're an independent agent and you're thinking to yourself, how am I ever gonna compete against these technology-driven juggernauts that have been given tens of millions of dollars to build bots that can replace everything that I do? The answer is relationships. You, the human being. You, that's your competitive advantage. We've been saying that throughout the, the entire life of this show. Every piece of content that I create talks about you, the human being, is the competitive advantage that you will always have against everybody else. And Instagram allows you to easily bring that human side of your life into the public eye so that people can get to know you a little better and see who you are and, and develop a relationship with you before they ever reach out. Number three, Instagram just isn't saturated yet. Facebook is saturated, Twitter has kind of gone the way of the dodo. LinkedIn's making a big push. We talked a little bit about LinkedIn in another episode, but LinkedIn's kind of a different thing. Instagram, as far as what you're trying to do there, build relationships, build engagement, have conversations, humanize your brand, all that kind of stuff, it's still wide open, especially for brands. Uh, and done right, done right, can be an incredibly powerful way to generate business. <laughs> The slice of life stuff yeah, it is. is like the value. People are addicted. They can't look away. Um, they I love. Mean, it's, it's connecting. It's just they connecting. They love seeing your, your like, trip life. to the grocery store. Or some nonsense, you know. It's like nonsense. Well, not, it's not, well, it's not nonsense. Well, that's life. Everyone's grocery shopping. Everyday shopping. stuff. Yeah. It's everyday stuff. So you're sharing that, but again, it's like I feel like it's this gem because Facebook is is very saturated. And um, it's it's tough to capture the attention on Facebook, but Instagram is still right for businesses because there's it's still kind of personal. It's not like uh, sell, 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 sell. It's more of a direct kind of thing where you are reaching out to people. You know, you don't have to ask for the sale. You can do a sponsored post. You know. But along with that, you're also, you know, giving an inspirational quote or giving a slice of life, showing the kids, showing what you do behind the scenes, you know, goofy stuff. Sometimes in my stories, like, it'll be like us changing yeah. a light bulb. I think that it establishes <laughs> some trust. So if you do meet someone in the marketplace who's familiar with, you know, your brand a little bit and they've seen you on Instagram, you know, there's like, they know you're maybe not like a total fly by night or something you right, have a little bit know. of you have a little bit of built-in credibility and you feel like they people know just looking are. at you know pictures of you you know doing mundane everyday stuff yeah <laughs> 
gonna take you guys through what I've learned from Doug and Liz and what they're doing inside their Instagram account that has made them so incredibly successful as, as, a, as just a startup. I mean, when Liz first reached out to me, what she said was, we're generating in a tremendous amount of business from Instagram. We'd love to just talk to you a little bit about that and some of the other things we're doing and I love doing that stuff, so amazing. I was taken by the fact that, that they were doing so well on Instagram. So then I went and checked them out and I'm like, Wow, these guys have like 1,100, almost 1,200 followers. They got 900 posts. They've only been around for seven to 10 months. I can never, seven, eight months, something like that. And um, it's just tremendous, right? Completely tremendous. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that they're doing um, and talk a little bit about why I think uh, their account is doing so well and uh, what you guys can learn and implement in your own Instagram accounts if you want to start to generate business from Instagram. So first, uh, let's take a look. I need a pointer of some sort. I'm gonna use this banana as my pointer. So let's take a look at this post right here. So their agency is in Buffalo, New York. It's called New Buffalo Insurance. And here they are, their logo with a, a placard on a window supporting the police department with, with another local business. I mean, that's just a tremendous post, right? It just it calls into, you know, everyone wants to support the police department. It shows that they're part of the community. It shows that they support the community. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal. Here's just cool picture. You know, we're looking here. This is just, this is the Buffalo skyline. You can see down here. Set, and, and then their post says, 8.37 a.m. commute from Niagara Street. Now, you're, you're just placing your business right in the community. Anyone who knows that part of town is immediately gonna relate to it. Now here's what they're doing really well. They also are using one of Instagram's most powerful features, which is hashtags, Buffalo, Buffalo NY, morning commute, downtown Buffalo. They're capturing Instagram users who are looking for other people in their community. They're putting it right there, 36 likes, four days ago, just just a wonderful post. I mean, this is simple stuff. It's, it's literally, you can tell, either Doug or Liz are on the road and they took this photo while they were driving. That's super simple stuff. Anybody can do this. It places them in the community, right? That's what Instagram is all about. How many people that they would wanna do business with drive that same road and see that same sunrise? It's this soft touch that says, wow, these guys are part of my community. And is anyone gonna necessarily pick up the phone and call for insurance because of that particular post? No, but if that's one of 12 touches that that consumer needs to kind of push them over the edge, does that help? abso freaking lootly it does. Let's keep looking at Doug and Liz's account here. So we scroll down. Uh, they got, you know, they're part of BNI, so they're giving a shout out to the other BNI members. Now it's fall, right? It's fall, so they have some cool, kind of really nice. It's got some texture to it. It's got cool fall colors. Uh, put all your fall summer clothes away. Uh, brought out all the plaid is the is the caption. That's cool, you know. I, everyone brings out their plaid in the fall. Here's just a cool quote, right? Life is a series of thousands of tiny miracles. Notice them, right? Monday motivation, so a cool hashtag that a lot of people are gonna capture. Using hashtags, uh, mixing up their formats. Here's another really good picture. Uh, are you loving this October weather? Now you're pulling people in, right? It's been really warm in upstate New York. So for October, our weather's been beautiful. Uh, we're trying to enjoy every minute of it. Here's a picture of one of their kids holding a frog by a pond, you know, still catching frogs, still climbing trees. So you can tell Liz, uh, in particular, she really gets the Instagram culture, which is hashtags, pictures of what's going on in your life. It's, it's capturing the moment, right? Who doesn't immediately relate their son, probably eight to 10 years old, catching a frog, wearing fall clothes, enjoying the weather. And what it's saying is, this is real people. This is a real family that operates that business. And if you relate to that, right, if you're someone who says, I'm a Buffalo person, I'm enjoying this weather, I would love to work with a family. Just by looking at this picture, I feel an immediate connection to them. And that's what Instagram is all about. But the key is, they're also using proper formatting. So uh, you can see they use these, they use a few periods to push 
the hashtags down. So when you first look at the post, all you see are the words. The periods push the hashtags down so the hashtags aren't smushed right up at the top. And you can interject one or two hashtags inside of the text at the top, but you don't want all those hashtags are. Another kind of tactical thing to do with hashtags is in the first comment you do a bunch of hashtags and that pushes that image and that post into that vein of hashtags, the explore function where someone might be looking for that. There was a great one in here. Um, here we go. I absolutely love this post that you're seeing right here, and let me tell you why. I'm gonna read you the post. I polished and wore my favorite cufflinks from, uh, I think it's Shearer's Jewelers, and they, and you can see right here, they have tagged the jeweler. They've tagged the jeweler. And the reason they did that is they want the jeweler, one, they want people to be able to click through and connect with the jeweler. Two, they want, it pings this jeweler's account so they know that they've added them so they get to see it. And they've given a great shout out and the cufflinks are Buffalo related. Their agency is in Buffalo. Their agency name is Buffalo. They're Buffalo people. It pulls the whole story together. They're giving a shout out to a client or a business that they want to do business with. They're just a business in the area that other people from Buffalo may know and respect and like. They've brought them in to the, to the post. They've given them a shout out. They're connecting on the local Buffalo cultural level. They're cufflinks, which is kind of a cool cheeky thing. It's got a, it's got a buffalo on it, similar to the hat they gave me, right? Super, super cool. And then they come down and they do great hashtags. Glamorous life of insurance agents. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, lost and found buffalo. I mean, just they're using they're, they're, in, they're ingrained in the Instagram culture, they're capturing it, but guys, this post, this post right here, this couldn't have taken them less than five minutes to type out this little description, add a few hashtags, and take that picture of their cufflinks. That didn't take very long, that didn't interrupt their life, that wasn't too much to think about, but this post got 52 likes. 52 people were like, yeah, I like that. They also got seven comments. A couple of those comments were gauging and talking about, talking about the jeweler itself. Here's the rub. And this is the story that actually brought Doug and Liz and, and me together. They have connected with, uh, through their Instagram account, they connected with a local nanny and that nanny did business with them for her insurance. And she took their website and what they were doing on Instagram and all that kind of stuff and shared it into her nanny forum. They've gotten tons of calls, tons of people connecting with them through that forum. And now they're going down to New York City to meet with a very large account in this space that found them through this method. So guys, here's what I want to tell you about social media. And, and, and listen to me when I tell you this. That's where, those are referrals. That, that entire process, really when you bake it down, it's all referrals but done through a digital method. So referrals are our bread and butter. It is what every independent agent would say. It's the lifeblood of an independent agency are referrals. And all their Instagram account has allowed them to do is bake in a digital methodology for people to give them referrals. This is native to who we are. It just is a different way of thinking about it. But you have to be active in this space. New Buffalo Insurance has basically taught me everything I need to know to do Instagram better. Follow B New Buffalo Insurance, get to know these guys, use some of the things they're doing in your own agency to drive business, to build engagement, to build relationships, and ultimately create that mechanism for people to refer you to their friends and for you to write more business. <laughs> introduce all you guys to Liz and Doug Benz. Tell them the name of your agency. New, New Buffalo. Buffalo Insurance Agency. And Liz, tell them that your handle on Instagram. New Buffalo Insurance. You guys got to check them out. They are killing Instagram in the independent agency space. And they got me this gangster New Bills hat. <laughs> awesome. <Go Bills. laughs>